So we're on our way to Sofia. We're in Burgas, the airport. And just some of these signs that come up, it's, it's, things just don't translate well, like this one. And again, for some reason, they just haven't really switched over very well for people who are disabled. They have signs. It's like they can't, they just can't interpret. Like this one says, you read that? Toilet people with reduced mobility. Who are the toilet people? Where do they come from? Where do they, where do they live? <laughs> That's hilarious. The toilet people. Watch out for the toilet people. Well, we made it to Hungary, and it's pretty awesome here. I'm really happy with the room that we got, and the hotel is nice. We're just hanging out for a little bit, and then we're going to go to uh, get a little sauna in this uh, this evening for our workout, and then we're going to get a little dinner, and then a uh, little bed, and then we'll get going on the train tomorrow. But this is where we're staying. We got it's like a little apartment, really. Come in the bathroom, spacious and clean. It's really nice. No shower curtain, but that's how they roll. And then uh, here's the bedroom area. Nice closet, beds that are we can separate. They're not next to each other. Got a TV and couch. It's really just uh, we even got a kitchen in here. So if we want to cook something, we can cook something. We want a little snack late at night? We got it. We got a fridge. Got everything. So I'm real happy. I really like Budapest. I won a bronze medal here uh, several years back uh, at the World Championships. And uh, I really like this town. It's really nice, really nice city. It's one of the places that if I, if I could come back to vacation, I, I actually would come back to Budapest. It's awesome. So hopefully um, I'll be able to show you some of the different things that are going on here it, and show you some of the sites, hopefully get out and see something old and historical. And uh, so you can get a little little look at Budapest if you never had an opportunity to come here. So we'll see you around. This is the building where we're going for our sauna. Right here. Yeah. Got all these sculptures outside. Huh? I'm just talking to the camera. <clears throat> and this place is full of different saunas, hot and cold plunge, steam room. I came here one other time before. It was really awesome. I'll show you the lobby here in a little bit. It's really cool. So this is the lobby. It's all old architecture. It's pretty cool. And inside, I'm not going to take the camera inside, obviously, because I don't want to get it wet, first of all, and then everybody's going to be doing the sauna. Fortunately here, people keep their clothes on. It's appropriate to go to. I've been to some other saunas where you get inside and it's like, oh, surprise, no clothes. And they're like, oh, sorry, see ya. We're at the uh, Turkish bath right now. So this is the pool outside. There's a, a couple different saunas and other warm and cold plunges inside. But these pools are heated right here. There's one on this side, and they got the sculptures with that water jetting out. And you can see it's heated, all the steam coming up. But it's a pretty big courtyard out here. They're doing some remodeling. That pool in the middle is a lap pool. <clears throat> and then there's also another pool over here on the other side. See where that steam is, and over by the other sculpture, other statues. Anyway, it's a pretty awesome facility. And I don't know why it's not popular in the United States. It's pretty cool. I guess we just like water parks. I guess if there was a water slide, that would be pretty awesome. But uh, until sauna gets really popular in the U.S., I guess we'll just have to take advantage of when I'm over here, right? This is right across from the spa, from the bathhouse. Looks like it's a circus. As you can see, those elephants. I don't really know anything else that has elephants other than the circus or the zoo. And then there's also a horse. It looks like it's definitely a circus. But that would be something cool to go to. 
go to the circus, Hungarian circus. I mean, isn't that what they might be known for? I have no idea. I'm just pulling that out of my hat. I know there's gypsies here they said we have to be careful of. Make sure we don't get pickpocketed to keep your stuff inside your jacket or in your front pockets so you know, so you can feel it if somebody's trying to rip you off, which is good advice. And then uh, you might see this sculpture of a boy riding a fish. Yep. That just happened. I don't know what's going on there, having a work party or something. But this chick has the hairiest back I've ever seen. There's like, there's like 12 people in there, and they have like a table just full of empty alcoholic containers, and it's, it's funny. <laughs> hey, we're on the elevator, going to the first floor. Oh yeah. First floor. <laughs> we've and we've reached our destination. We waited, we waited for a good three or four minutes at the first at the bottom too. <laughs>